currently we have already created our database migrations. So what we have to do now is to create or implement the factories in order to insert some data automatically into those tables. During this class, we are going to proceed to implement the factory for the user model. So let's go to our project. The factories are going to be stored inside the database factories folder and into a model factory file. In fact, we are able to create several files inside the factories folder if we want to separate our different factories in different files. But it is not completely required, so we can do it directly on this file. So you can see the Laravel includes a little factory for the user model with already the name, email, password, and remember token. Of course, we have to add some additional attributes accordingly. Let's import the definition. So we don't need this directly. Now we have so the verified. We can use Faker. That is a library for PHP to create, for example, words, emails, names, paragraphs, etc. So in this case, we are going to use Faker to select randomly an element from an array. We are going to select two possible elements, if the user is verified or not. Then we have the verification token. So the verification token can be equals to this. But to be realistic, only the users without verification should have a verification token. In other case, those users should have a null verification token. It means if a user is already verified, the verification token should be null. So for that, we need to know the value of the verified attribute. So let's assign this. And depending on the value, we are going to assign null or the value returned by this method. So if the user is verified, the verification token is going to be null. In other case, is going to use the return value. And then we have the admin attribute. That is going to be very similar to this, but instead we are going to use the admin constants. After this, we have already implemented the factory for the users. So, see you in the next class.